Hello everybody, welcome to Break and Remake. I'm your host, Joan. I found a dress that I really loved at the thrift store and I needed to fix it. Whoa. <laughs> and this is how it turned out. I've got sleeves on here, I've got my flounce all back in, and I fixed the elastic. I'll show you how to do it. I've got my dress inside out. I'm going to just cut the elastic out. It's gonna be too much to unpick it. Well, maybe I can unpick this elastic. Let's see. I don't have to cut this open and create two separate pieces. The way they constructed this, I can just pick the elastic off. Yes, that's my favorite. After I'm done taking the elastic out of this dress, I will look at the shoulders. I think I'm gonna turn this into a raglan sleeve dress but I'm gonna see what I get into once I start taking it apart. I am done picking the elastic out. Now I'm gonna sew around to make a casing for my elastic. I'm using half inch wide elastic. I think that's a nice size to use at the waist of my garments. I've used it before, it's a good size. After I'm done pinning this, I'll stitch it all up. I'm gonna sew a seam that is about seven eighths of an inch. I'm gonna use my machine to help me guide. If you don't have guides on your machine, then you mark it with a chalk. Here we go. You have to make sure that none of your stuff gets all pinched up in here, so I'm making sure it's all smooth. Okay. I sewed my little casing up. Normally you would trim your excess away, but I'm afraid for my life to cut the finished factory edge on this dress because I don't want it to unravel. So now all I'm doing is pinning the seam allowance up into the bodice and then I'll make the casing and it's just like a normal casing. You stitch, you leave yourself a little hole to put your elastic in and then you're done. This is the bodice. I'm folding everything up towards the bodice and I'm gonna pin it out. It's tricky, so ghosts will be careful. I believe in you, always have. Make sure everything's all smooth. So you don't have bumps or ridges or bubbles. That's always the worst. I've checked to make sure that I haven't pinned any situations. I found my hem pinned up here, so it's good that I checked. Now I can go section by section and sew this. I'm gonna sew my seam here. I'm gonna try to go in between, ooh, in between my overlocking edge of the fabric and my overlocking stitch here. It's gonna be tricky, but if I go slow and be careful, I'll be all right. I also need to leave a section open. So I'm gonna sew all the way around. I'm gonna leave this section open so I can get the elastic in. I'm all done with the casing. I'm just checking to make sure it looks okay. Whoa, it's so frothy. It looks pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and stick my elastic in here. Now to measure your elastic, I don't have a good, like solid way other than to put it around yourself and cut it where it where it feels right on you. You could measure yourself and like cut the exact amount. I'm just gonna put it on myself. I think this feels good. I'm gonna cut it here and then it's done. I've got this. I'm just gonna start feeding it into my dress. I've got my elastic through. I made sure it's not twisted anywhere. And now I'm gonna sew it up and tuck it all back in and close it. I overlap my elastic like this. And then I go ahead, stitch it like that. And then do another one over here to hold it in place and then you can stuff it back in. Tuck that elastic in as best you can. Everything's laid flat. I'm gonna go ahead and close this up carefully. It's all done. So you can stop here if you are fine with how it looks. I wanted to add sleeves, but it's an advanced kind of project if you start adding sleeves to something that's already made. I already have patterns for a raglan sleeve. I'm gonna lay them on the the garment and see if they kind of work and cross my fingers. I'll have to open up this seam and get the ruffle out because I want to keep the ruffle, but yeah, let's see if we can do it. It's a grand experiment. I've laid this out as nice as I can, keeping the seams fairly straight. It's pretty frothy fabric, so it's a little annoying. I'm going to lay my pattern on here. This is the neckline. I think it could totally work, but I'm gonna have to open up this to get some of that seam allowance back. I think it, I think it could work. Yeah, let me try the back. I'm gonna be super careful opening this seam and then opening up the 
arm here so I can lay this all flat and do my markings for my pattern. Uh, wish me luck. We'll see how it goes. I'm gonna pop these stitches and see what's inside here. So we've got a nice seam allowance to attach our new sleeve onto. So I have to unpick all of this and um, then we can put our sleeve in. I've got my bodice all separated at the shoulder seams. Now I can lay everything flat and start marking where I'm gonna cut off, add some seam allowance, what I still need to sew everything back together with the new sleeves. I'm so excited. Okay, this is gonna go right where the old sleeve was. I'm gonna do seam allowance, mark where the seam allowance is, and then I'm gonna cut this off just right here because I can leave all that in yes okay I'm gonna mark everything on all four sides and then we'll be ready to add our new sleeves yay I've got it all marked I'm gonna cut it away there's no going back yeah I'm going to do a overcast stitch it's a zigzag along the edge of this so it doesn't keep unraveling for all of my pieces. I went ahead and I cut my sleeves out. I did the overcast edge on them. They're ready to be set in. I just need to sew them together and put them in the garment. I've got my sleeve pinned in here. Ooh, um, I'm ready to sew this in. Let's see how it looks. We're done. That's it. All I've got to do now is finish my neckline and reattach my flounce. So cute. I am all done. My flounce is reattached. I only need to finish the sleeves, but I have a sneaky suspicion that I'm going to do a little bias bind on them because they got a little short when I was stitching them in. But let's try it on. Pretty frothy. I like it. Ta-da. I really like the way it turned out. It's nice and comfy. It's going to be a great summer dress when it gets back to being summer. But I am really excited about how it turned out. Yay! And I will do a bias bind or something on these sleeves just to keep the length so I don't suck it up taking up my hem allowance. All right, everybody, thank you for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more eco-friendly DIYs. We'll see you next time. Bye. Tell me when. Okay. And ta-da.